what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be my spoiler free review for as most as i as much as i can help it spoiler free review for you season four part one episodes one through five that will be releasing um on the 9th of february i believe is when this is dropping now i'm recording this right now because of the fact that the embargo is so far out and we're not even a month away from the actual release just yet because I've already had the pleasure of watching the first five episodes. So I just want to have this video already up pending because the embargo doesn't doesn't lift until like midnight or 3 a.m. depending on what coast you're on. But just to jump into you season four, you season four, we know is finding Ben or Pin Badgley's returning as Joe Goldberg, who we know is now going to be embracing a new identity and a new friend friend group out in london or france territory um he's he's left the states is pretty much what i'll say as we all saw being teased at the end of season three so joe goldberg is posing as jonathan moore in this season a professor in london uh malcolm a a colleague of his another professor lives in a flat next to him and kate another character that is intertwined with malcolm are some of the first people you'll see joe get mixed up with out here in london now malcolm is a drunk with a lot of friends who who can who can who you can classify as fake and that'll make more sense once you see these rich elitists interact with each other pretty much like we tend to see in some of the previous seasons with how they interact with each other and they're just basically all fake friends joe is trying to be on a european holiday as he calls it so his thoughts about marion seem to seem to keep him at bay but the temptations around him end up being too much joe has to deal with more rich snobs as i just mentioned he is now again posing as a professor so he has to deal with his students sustaining his second identity because he's supposed to be dead fall out with the quinn family and a man named elliot so he's definitely also still looking for marion it's just he has a lot of other stuff going on this season that makes Marion at the bottom of this list. Uh, Marion, we know, fled to France or the London area, possibly, and that's why Joe is here. Of course, that's what brought him here initially. I could have sworn Love did tell this girl to go where Joe couldn't find her, so this seemed a bit silly narratively to me, but the heart wants what it wants, I guess. Uh, now, Penn Badgley continues to be a captivating madman that fans love to hate. His narrations continue to be a great touch to keeping the story compelling. We know Joe isn't the biggest fan of social gatherings at all, and Penn just conveys his uncomfortable nature so profoundly with his facial expressions and his mannerisms. Joe and Marion do end up having an encounter during the first five episodes, and this exchange was short, but it was satisfying. I will say that. Uh, there's a very unexpected twist towards the end of the first episode, but some of you might be able to see it coming. Others of you are going to be completely floored. Uh, it's definitely new territory for the show, and I see what Penn was getting at when he was saying that this is going to have a different a different tone to it slightly. Uh, some other things that will happen in this that help set the unprecedented nature about the season is, again, the twist that happens towards the end of episode one. It adds an extra layer to the tension felt during certain sequences, sets an, unpre again, pre unprecedented nature for the entire season, and amplifies the uncomfortable behavior Joe displays around these rich snobs when his European holiday is indeed cut short. The writing this season wastes no time making you eager to dive into each episode. Joe is being challenged in a way he's never been challenged before the side characters have their importance increased thanks to the nature of joe's dilemma and it's just for the most part very unpredictable during this season the way this show has always been able to subvert your expectations to me has always been one of its strong suits when it comes to the writing now while joe has the greatest development the supporting side characters of rich snobs are all able to shine as well the commentary on class status online fake personas continue to be another strong suit that enhance the uh, significance of these supporting characters uh, Joe's arc this season feels like an appropriate next step you take after everything we've seen him do since season one I say it is equally fitting and captivating due to how it heightens the events of the season and it poses a lingering question that is present from the very beginning the set and costume designs are phenomenal and the dialogue is tremendous as always pacing is incredible so far I find every interaction between these characters to be quite compelling uh, and the consistent tension and suspension between the cast aids the story in just remaining appealing. Now, every performance is also is also strong. The chemistry Badgley is able to have with every actor or character he's in, he's interacting with in this show 
not just in this season, but as we've seen in the previous seasons, the chemistry he is able to have with these people is a, always been a really nice touch and just something I've always admired about the show. So I cannot praise that enough. Some of the editing at times I did not like in this in this um, first half of the season. I thought, especially in episode one, to be more specific, I found a lot of the editing to be nauseating at times. But there are some great aspects of um, some great cinematography when it when it has the great cinematography some elements to it though like the editing i just was like uh stop doing this uh, so, sometimes you just have too many cuts you have too many cuts at certain instances and episode one to me was filled with just some some of the worst editing of the of this season so far other than that everything is going fine so far for for uh, us as the viewer watching this things aren't going well for joe and i hope i did not give away too much in the sense that if you are able to pick up what i am saying is happening in the fourth season then so be it but again i didn't go into any real overly specific things i barely even touched on who who these new characters are that he's interacting with outside of the returning marion who again is portrayed wonderfully by tati gabriel uh i cannot wait for volume two or part two i cannot wait to see what else this show has in store for us during this new season because this again is very uncharted territory for joe and i've also recalled during the lead up to this they were calling this like joe would be seen as like a fish out of water he's very much so a fish out of water he has no idea what he's doing he's never had something like this occur it's something that is so different for this show Something that many of you might have been looking for, looking forward to, but it's just still the fact that it, it has happened. It's also something I wasn't expecting to go down like this. <laughs> it's very, it's very twisted, very, very just so breaking new ground for the show. So I hope that what happens is that the second half will kind of just get back to what the first three seasons have been like completely uh and then the, you'll just have this first five that is this new tone that that pin is referencing because it, it was a great first first part of the season so far i will say that i i enjoyed every episode again my only gripes with it were some editing issues really really when it comes down to that i would say this is almost a better season than than three so far I know some people miss Miss Love. I, I don't know if Love's going to appear in season four or not. I, I know she hasn't appeared yet. That's all I'll say now. She hasn't appeared yet. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.